Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video working on my LS Wap and my 2003 Jeep TJ. I need to figure out the air intake system. I did have one design set up, but a lot of the viewers are saying it's not gonna work, it's gonna suck in hot air. And after doing some research, uh, looking up at some other people who did a similar setup as mine, complained about high intake temperatures. Now, I'm gonna redo the air intake and hopefully this will be the last time. So originally I had a 90 and then a 90 and then came right up here. But like I said, a lot of the viewers pointed it's gonna suck up some hot air. And I originally was going to build like a cage and then use like the louvers in the hood, but don't wanna risk it. So now I got some more parts gonna come in at 90, 45 and bring the air filter somewhere right around here. So as you've seen earlier, these are a bunch of parts that I gathered, collected. I'm not gonna use that filter, which was the one I was originally gonna use. I picked up this one right here, part number 8166. It's a smaller cone filter, it will help out. Came with a bunch of uh, rings to adapt to different sizes, but I'm going to attach it right to here. Now, I already have an adapter on here, and as you can see, I cut it out as a notch so it could fit up. And now, I'm gonna utilize this rubber ring but in order to do that, I need to trim those off so they're not going to interfere with the filter. That's taken care of. I'm going to slide this piece back on. Probably going to rotate this one more around. There. So now I can take my filter and push her down on there and clamp her. Now if you decide to use the same setup I'm using, I'm gonna grab some assembly grease here and just lubricate the filter there because it is a pretty tight fit going on the MAF sensor for sure. So the more you have it lubricated, the easier it will slide on. Trust me on this one. So what you gotta do is loosen this clamp off as far as you can go, and then you can push it down so it's almost flush. So by now I've got all sorts of elbows and bends and piping that I picked up that I was gonna use and not gonna use. So I'm gonna go with this short 90. And I also just recently picked up this 45 AEM tube, which actually fits almost perfect. I just need to trim it up just a slight bit. By looking at this, it's gonna work. I got clearance on the fan here. A little bit tight, so I'm probably gonna have to cut this off about an inch or so. Bring that filter back. I think that should be enough to rock and roll. I'm just marking off the intake tube because I know exactly how much I want to cut it back to make it fit better. Now, my preference is to put tape around the pipe or tube. This way, it makes it a little bit easier to cut it straight using my Milwaukee cutoff tool, which I'm not a big fan of, to cut the aluminum tube. And then once you're done, of course, make sure you clean it up so there's no burrs. Now that I made the cut, it's time for the final fitment. Well, of course, there's no going back now. We've already cut it. Let's fit it up and see how it's gonna look. Now this is the part where you start thinking, well, where do I want that electrical plug in to sit that it's not gonna be a hindrance? So in the end, I still gotta get some clamps to come in for it. But that's how it's looking. It's got some clearance there. Not gonna hit the fan. Hood can still close. And I think that should be good to keep the intake air temperature low. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I wanna thank you guys for watching this video.